Hello and welcome back! In this video, I'm going to be doing a quick update to our last project showing you how to use extension methods to make our code a little easier. Extension methods are a way to extend your methods with more functionality. Say our 2D array of cells, we use these double for loops to create a new cell and to update our cells. But what if we could just say grid.fill and grid.update and just pass in some values? That would be a lot easier than having to type these two for loops every time we want to fill a grid or update a grid. Well, we can do that with extension methods. If we go into our project and into our scripts folder, we'll create a new c -sharp script called extension methods. Open that script up. It's going to be a static class. All extension methods have to be within a static class. Now in our static class, we'll make a static void called fill. To get our static void fill to show up at the end of a 2D array of cells, you'll need to type this cell, make it a 2D array, we'll call it grid, then we'll pass in a prefab object for what we are filling the grid with, and then a theme for which theme we want to pass also. Now inside of here, we are going to do the same thing that is happening within Grid Manager. Just simply copy this, paste it into here, replace your capital grid with a lowercase grid, and then replace tile prefab with prefab, and themes current theme with theme. Now we can go back into our grid manager. We'll line this out. We can now say grid.fill and pass in the values that we asked for, which is a prefab, which is tile prefab, and a theme, which is themes current theme. We can do the same thing with our update tile themes function by going back into our extension methods. We'll make a new extension method called update. And in this one, we'll say this cell 2D array grid game object, or my bad, tile theme object, theme, and then a fill rate. and we'll default it to 0.5f. Within here, it'll be the same thing that's in our grid manager. Just copy this, go into your extension method, paste it, make that a lowercase g, place this with theme, and this with fill rate. Going back into your grid manager, you can line that out, and then just say, grid dot update pa pass in the variables that we asked for which is themes dot current theme or themes current theme and the fill rate now going back into your project you'll see that everything works the same but we did it in one line of code And there you go. I hope you enjoyed this short video of how to use extension methods to be able to code your project more quickly. Have a wonderful day and until next time, see you later.